course, this weekend marked round four of the TFH Hire Formula RX8 series, which of course is part of the High Tech Oil Super Series. And they came to us this time around at the Shell V Power Motorsport Park. However, it saw another dominant performance from none other than Brock Payne from TFH Racing. But, um, Ivan, yes, first time with the brand new car, brand new sponsor for Slipstream Autosport. Uh, you want to talk a bit more about that, mate? Yeah, no, look, a pleasure, pleasure to be here, and it's uh, phenomenal to to be here to announce, obviously, what we show, what we showed the, the world yes, yes. Uh, over the last seven days that it's now Grinio Slipstream Autosport, and it's a phenomenal partnership with Grinio, um, a digital currency payment service uh, platform. Um, it's got its own app, and not just that, but also like as an organization. The they offer a Visa debit card that's linked to a wallet app, enabling Australians to spend their stable coins by converting it to fiat. And the Green Your card is accepted at all Visa merchants, you know, easily offline, online. You can use your stable coins and you can even withdraw cash with it oh, as well. And when we started a negotiation and we started to talk about how motorsport can provide them a platform that can showcase who they are, can showcase their brand and being televised and having your Foxes and your KOs and your SBS on demand, all of a sudden the marketing department of this organization started to say, you know, well, maybe Motorsport is a good platform for us it's, to promote our organization. Yeah. And having uh, a team that is so active online through esports, through real life racing and and sharing that common ground for for speed, you know, they, they work very hard to, you know, work on transaction speed and we work very hard <laughs> on motorsport speed. And so it's a perfect marriage between two great brands and I'm super, super excited, you know, to, to be working together. And what do you guys think of the livery? Oh, it's the oh. best on the grid. Now, I'm a bit biased because we do have a little cheeky LTM logo on the back, but that <laughs> Greenio green looks sensational with the black. It's just, it's, it's phenomenal. It is incredible. It's the only green car on the, on the grid. And um, yeah, you can see it from a mile away. It, and it also, like a shout out to Matt, who drove from oh, Melbourne. Man. Yeah. He left Melbourne at the workshop where they build a race suit at 3 p.m in peak hour traffic and managed to get to Adelaide by 11 p.m. by driving through the night to make sure that on Saturday morning for qualifying, that race suit was on. And it looked good. It looks good. It, yeah. It looks good. Well, it was, it was funny because when he arrived at the place we stayed at, we thought he was going to sleep in it, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't think he was going to take it off. <laughs> yeah. No, I put it off straight away. I couldn't help myself. And I was actually waiting for Jason and Jason never... Jason never showed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So eventually, I did go to bed at like midnight. But um, overall, a fantastic partnership that has just begun uh, between Greenio and Slipstream Autosports. New naming rights partner. Our first round together. Our first round as a team with with our own vehicle. And what a pleasure, you know, to do it at home in front of all the fans and to have everybody come over, you know. And it just shows the power of branding, the power of telling a story you yep, know where we it. are on a mission that's it. you know as slipstream autosport we are on a mission we're out there to find talent to promote talent to promote brands to promote our our race gear seeing all the slipstream autosport merch out there cool. you know people like you know go and have a coffee and you see slipstream and you go yeah. down in the pits and you see slipstream <laughs> and you know um we're waiting to go out in the pits and you see a lot of slipstream yeah. next to one car <laughs> You know? That was my favorite part, just seeing everyone's just got one or two people around, and then you had like thirty people behind it's your like car. It's like Kimi Antonelli with all the photography. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there were there were some like, there were some head scratches, you know, and there were a few people taken up by it because it was just so loud. Mm. And it was just so much noise and yeah. so many people talking, and people couldn't even hear themselves because there was just so much attention towards one car, one local driver in a national championship that is a brand new championship, and you would have thought it was like. Super 2 driver being announced <laughs> yeah. that he's driving at Bathurst. Yet it's just, you know, just me and my first national Whoa. championship. But again, branding, marketing, mm. telling your story, it. telling it your message. The only driver out there in, in, in you know, I, I don't even know if TA2 drivers did this and I can't confirm it, but who's out there at the end of the day providing a video recap 
of what went on today and sharing that. Yeah, it doesn't happen too often. You know, the highs, the lows, it doesn't matter. You know, like we're doing it, we're out there, we're exposing ourselves and we're, and we're telling the story. And win or lose, there's always a lesson. There's always something to learn. We've had some electrical drama. We're going to get on top of it. Yeah, well, look, it. speaking of uh, stories to tell, let, give us a little feedback on how the weekend went all up. You know, there was highs and lows, like you mentioned. Um, Look, yeah. for me, um, Friday morning, we went out and straight away we knew something was wrong with the setup. Yeah. You know, we were a million miles away. You know, we, we were eight seconds away from the leader <laughs> in, in practice one. And I sort of came back in and said, something's not right. And then we went out again and we were like seven seconds behind. You know, we're not, I'm not a seven seconds behind driver. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's mm -hmm. keep working and working. And we kept on focusing on the setup. Yep. And that's what we, that's because we were always alone. We weren't around other cars during the practice sessions. And then came Saturday morning and we saw the gap to the leaders again in quali. Okay. And we saw a couple of uh, cars, you know, um, you know, uh, pulling, pulling away from us. And that's when we started to discover that we were having some electrical issues with the vehicle yeah, that yeah. were not allowing us to have the power that we were meant to have. You know, nothing moto like Jason has done a, an absolutely brilliant job, and we've put a car together in a month, and this is what happens. You know, like yeah, it's, you get, you have gremlins. You man. know, you, you find things that are wrong and you fix them. However, come race one, well, we started last due to, um, you know, due to do a technical reason that the stewards uh, believe that you know we should have started last, and yep. I'm starting 17th and made my way all the way back to. Uh, eight, and it was just absolutely spectacular. You know, I had the onboard as the as the local driver, and uh, what did you guys? Because I see it from the driver's perspective, but what did you guys? How did you guys well, see? You know, uh, like <laughs> driving through the field. It made for great television. Oh, here we go. They're this being defensive. This is on. This is Thompson trying to get around to the inside of uh, Ventagiato. On the outside, you've also got Canelo. Oh, Ivan, hold on to it. He lost the rear. He lost the rear. Didn't lock it up, but it definitely lost the rear. <laughs> Gave him but a good run. Look at him. Back by him. He's going to drive back by. I still, got that, I still got the handbrake in there, don't they? I reckon he's pulled a bit of a uh, entry there. He's I watching thought, the drift boys a bit too much. I would have thought that would have killed so much momentum, but unbelievably, it didn't actually lock it up. So he's gotten away with that. What a recovery. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely great, especially so, that sideways overtake. Actually, yeah. we've, we've got three <laughs> perspectives, actually, behind the wheel, behind the TV screen, and then behind the radio, right? <laughs> because... Yeah, you were watching on, on the TV on the big screen and I was you on the saw what you wall, saw. Yeah, yeah. You were behind the wheel and I was just like freaking out that he was just passing everyone. And yeah. <laughs> it was just great. Like, well, yeah, just yeah. speaking to Ivan and saying like how well he was doing was just such a motivating feeling. Every mm. lap, your voice was getting louder and louder <laughs> and louder and louder. You are currently in P12. You're currently in P10. So you're not. You're <laughs> no, not I have more energy than Piastri. No, 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 no. There's no Oscar Piastri here. Everyone is, <laughs> yeah, every, everyone's uh, like, you know, like a Ferrari fan, you know. And I think, I think the thing that I miss the most is what would have happened if we had gotten a podium placing. Because no, I man. think that place would have exploded, you know, with the 67 people that we had there on the Saturday. If we had gotten a podium place, I think, you know, they would have shut us down and would have told us to pack up <laughs> yeah. and go home. Well, yes, but it was, it was spectacular, you know, that move three wide. I normally to go into turn one, we put it in, uh, we put it in third. I don't know why, because I saw car on the left, car on the right. And I actually, I don't know, for some reason, I thought it was a second gear corner. And all of a sudden, the compression locked and it stepped sideways. And I thought I was going to like spin, pin. Yeah. pin I, was, I thought I was going to take everybody out, but we actually managed to pull it together. And actually, because it was in second gear, I actually had a lot of talk. Yeah, so I actually did. drove away and actually realized, oh, he's left the door open. Boom. And I passed him as well. Power. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Power. Da, 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 da. But how good did the rotary sound? You know, oh, having him all oh, there man. at Tail and Bend, spectacular facility, spectacular racetrack, and a racetrack that took out a lot of cars. Mm, a did. lot it of did. cars did not make it home straight, you know, because... It's one of those tracks that there are a few corners where you either commit or you're slow. Yeah. Well, now we uh, obviously this was a very power track, but now we move on to 
uh, more cornering. We move uh, on to, to Winton, go-kart track. Winton Raceway. What'd you in, call uh, it? Not... A go-kart track. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong there. That's, That's for very sure. small. Yeah. Um, so I'm very looking forward to that. It's only four weeks or so away. You four guys weeks. We'll be doing some homework and stuff like that. But It's you... already started. Jason's all over it. He's already sent me the parts Looking list. Things, yeah. and, um, <laughs> send you the bill. Send me, but no, <laughs> not yet. No, oh, he's, okay. he's send me the parts so that, that we're going to be. That we'll do that at Friday practice. It's a quote. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but no, no, we're super excited. We're only four weeks away from the next race. Um, we hope, we hope it is motorsport. We hope to get on top of the Gremlins. Uh, we hope to go out there and and once again put on a show. Um, I don't, it, it, I don't know why, but like it doesn't matter whether I'm fighting for fifth or I'm fighting for eighth. The, you know, we're always involved in exciting battles, you know, mm. like in Queensland Raceway, the battle for fifth, you know, oh, it was a unreal. pack of cars, oh, and that, that was unreal. The battle for eighth in race one, you know, that was epic, you know, three cars going at it. But it's and, everywhere too. It wasn't just your battles, it was the whole field. Yeah. There were battles for 11th or battles for third, there was battles for the, for the lead. The Rob Bowden Brock Payne battle, you didn't see it, obviously driving. And Brad Harris. I think it was, uh, no, 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 or before, Queensland. no, 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 race two, I think it was. Oh, the, last yeah. lap they were side by side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. unreal. Yeah, yeah. They've just been at it all, all last oh, two rounds. Phenomenal, year, phenomenal. Really. another yes. phenomenal, another fantastic job by Formula RXA to everybody that's you know putting in the um, incredible amount of hours you know to yep. make this category what it is. Um, you know, shout out to Justin, Stacy, everyone involved behind the scenes, Errol, William, You know, you know, being you know governors of the of the rules, and there's so many exciting updates to come for 2025. And, you know, we could be seeing, you know, 27, 28 cars, even as early as one raceway. So bring it on. That'd be cool. And uh, I am so happy I got to actually meet everyone and be there for the first time. It's such an incredible yes. series. I absolutely love it. But on that note, we do have to wrap up the show. Unfortunately. So otherwise, we can be here forever and talk about it. But uh, <laughs> if you do want that, though, we do have heaps of footage, heaps of articles, all on ltmotorsport.com and our YouTube channels and socials. So you can head down there, just search up Let's Talk Motorsport. It's the yellow icon. Um, boys, thanks for joining us once uh, once again in the Radio Thank Italiana you. studio. It's always a blast. And, of course, we'll catch you next week. Bye for now. Bye.